Hey guys, Red Panda Mining here. Hope you're all doing well, having a really great day this video. I'm gonna be talking about how to set up a brand new Avalon Nano 3, which we are gonna be giving this one specifically in today's video. So if you guys enjoy, I will talk about how to participate later on in this video. Thank you to apextomining.com for sending me this Avalon Nano 3 to give away for you guys, okay? So I'm just gonna go through the whole process of setting up one of these things as I got a few requests for just wanting to learn how to set this thing up. Also talk about the power supply, which they did give us one here. It's not the official power supply, but it's an aftermarket one. And I just have to say disclaimer, for anyone that is gonna be ordering one of these things, I highly advise getting the stock power supply from Canon. Okay, they do have a power supply that you can order with the Avalon Nano and it is a lot cooler uh, to run because of the uh, power requirements for these things. You know, it goes up to 140 watts and mines at four terahash. There are three different power modes on this thing, which I will show later on in this video. But without further ado, thank you to apextomining.com guys. I'll talk about how to give this away in a second. So let's set this thing up. Okay, so once you unbox it, we're just going to place it on the table here. Next, you'll want to get the power brick. All right, we're going to be plugging this thing in and turning it on. Okay, so here's the supplied power brick, which is going to be USB-C. Next, you'll want to get the USB-C cable, okay, and you're going to want to plug it into the power brick here, just like so. Next, I'm going to be plugging it into a wall socket, so this will run on one 20 volt, no problem. I'm going to plug it up here, and at the same time, we'll be able to see how much power this Avalon Nano is going to take. So we go back to your Avalon Nano here. This is a nice blue color. I like it, I like it. All right, so we're gonna plug it into the back here, the USB-C plug. So we're simply just gonna plug it in here. Okay, and it should automatically turn on. All right, next step is you'll wanna get your phone and you'll wanna download the app for the Canon Avalon Nano 3. So it's called Remote dash Avalon Nano. This is on the App Store. So we're going to download it here and there we go. It should download now. Next you're going to open it. Okay, so you'll see the app right here. So now it says nothing. Okay, so this is where you're going to want to hit the plus sign at the top here. Now we're going to need to connect to the Avalon Nano itself through our Wi-Fi. So you'll want to go to the settings and go to your Wi-Fi settings and then click on the heater nano. We are basically connecting to the device itself, okay? So let's go back to the app now. So once you are connected to it, you're going to go back to here to the app and then we're going to hit next step, okay? And then it says uh, Avalon Remote, would you like to find connect devices to your local network? And you'll just say allow, okay? Turn on location services to allow Avalon Remote to determine your location. Uh, cancel, I don't think we need to do that. Okay, so now this is where you're gonna have to select the Wi-Fi for your Canon Avalon Nano to join to your Wi-Fi at home. So you'll wanna select your available Wi-Fi network at home. Uh, I'm gonna choose mine here. Then we gotta put in the Wi-Fi password. Okay, so once you put in your password, you're gonna hit save and it should configure the Avalon Nano here and it's going to connect to your Wi-Fi so that it can get internet connection so that you'll be able to mine Bitcoin with this thing. Okay, so let's go back to here, the app. Now it uh, looks like it just restarted. Okay, it looks like it's starting to mine now as well. Okay, so we're going to go back to the app. We're going to click on Avalon Nano 3. Okay, it says the device is offline. So if you get this error message, you simply have to join your local Wi-Fi connection because it does not see. So you're gonna have to go to your Wi-Fi, join it back in through the settings, go back to the app, and now you'll see the Avalon Nano 3. Okay, so we're gonna click on that. Now, 
we can control it, okay? So there's three different modes, low, medium, high, right? High mode is for the four tera hash, 140 watt mode, mediums for the about 3.2 uh, tera hash at about 100 watts, and then I think the low mode's around two tera hash at around 60 watts. Here, you can also control the lighting as well. You can do flash, okay? You can see it's flashing there, breathing, I think that's my favorite one. You can change the color temperature as well. The palette, you know, I like to do red here. Okay, so you can see it changes the LEDs, changes the different colors, any color that you want. Red, yellow, green, that's pretty cool. Blue, awesome. Red, okay, let's go white. Oh yeah, yeah, that's really nice. That's really cool. Okay, so now we want to set up the mining uh, address, the pool, and all that kind of stuff. So there is a mining management at the bottom. Okay, we're gonna click on that. Now, you can see this is where you can change all of your pool settings, your worker name, password. Uh, this is to join a mining pool so that you are able to mine Bitcoin or solo mine Bitcoin. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Let's go into the computer. I want to explain a bunch of things regarding, you know, getting an address, mining pool, wallet, all that kind of stuff, okay? So I'll see you guys in the computer. Okay, good segue into talking about the giveaway of this Avalon Nano 3 from apextomining.com. Thanks to them, we're giving away this exact one as well as the power brick and the USB-C cable, okay? So how to participate? There is a Gleam link down below for you guys to check out all the different entries you guys can enter in for this blue Avalon Nano 3. Really nice color here. I like that you can also take out the front. Uh, you can see the insides here and such. Also, you can remove the back one as well if you want. So anyways, guys, link in the description below to the Gleam link where you guys can entry in for free and be able to have the chance to win this Avalon Nano 3. Okay, so thank you to epextomining.com. I will be choosing the winner in about seven days when this video is released. So good luck to everybody. I'll see you guys in the computer. Let's explain how to put in your mining pool and such. Okay, so there's two different ways we could set up this Avalon Nano 3. So you can either do it through connecting to the web browser, the web GUI of the Avalon Nano 3 itself, okay, just by taking the IP address off of the device, then going to your computer, laptop, any other device, whatever, and you can go and put this number into the web browser, okay? So the IP actually shows up on the miner itself on the little screen. You could do it that way. The alternative is to also then change it through the app, which I just showed you guys earlier. So let's explain both ways here. So before anything, you'll want to get a cold storage wallet, whether if you are to mine Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash or any other SHA-256 algorithm uh, coin that's out there available, I would highly recommend getting a Tangem wallet. Doesn't have to be a Red Panda one, but I do have one. If you guys want one, link down below use code RPM for another 10% off. Basically, the Tangem wallet is a cold storage wallet in which the private keys are held within the cards and don't go anywhere else. So you are your own self-custodian for your cryptocurrency. So in this case, Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash. Here you can see you can get your Bitcoin wallet address, receiving address. Then you go back to the Avalon Nano app and then you can copy and paste that into the uh, worker area, the worker name there. Next, you'll wanna find out the Bitcoin pool or whichever pool that you're mining to for the coin. So let's say Bitcoin, for instance, there's a lot of different solo pools out there, okay? Or pool mining pools. If you wanna get daily Bitcoin out of these, in my opinion, it's very small. You're, you're not gonna get much with four terahash. In my opinion, I think the benefit here, the opportunity is gonna be with solo mining uh, with this thing. So there are a few solo pools out there. So I'm on miningpoolstats.stream. I'll have this link down below. You guys can see there's also other forks of Bitcoin here that you could solo mine as well. Okay, but in this case, you can see the pool fee here. There are a number of pools that have solo. Okay, so just look through that and then you can see which pools have the ability to solo mine. The popular one is ckpool.org here. And if you go to their website, 
then you can see uh, which mining pool you can point the miner to. Okay, so in this case, this is where you would put solo.ckpool.org colon 3333 in the pool section of the app. Okay, if you were to do it through the app, then you'll hit save and that's how you do it through the app. Now, I can show you guys here, we can do it through the web GUI. Okay, so we take the IP address of it, go to any web browser, log into it. So the username and password I believe is root and then root. Okay, we're gonna hit type that in. And now we are in. Okay, so this is just where we can see a lot more metrics, more statistics of the miner itself if you guys want. But we're gonna go to configuration tab on the left here. And this is where we can change the pool, the worker name, password. Uh, password, we don't, doesn't need to be anything. It could be optional or not. But this is where you'll wanna enter in your pool and such to do solo mining. Okay, so we're just gonna do that right now. We're gonna add that in here. Okay, we added the address. The worker name, this is gonna be a Bitcoin address and it's gonna be like so. And then you're gonna do a period and then, I don't know, nano three, just to distinguish the worker name. Okay, so this period will distinguish just so that you can see it on ckpool.org if you'd like, just to see if uh, it's online. And you don't have to put a period and then the worker name, you don't have to do that, but it's just so that you can distinguish a worker, okay, if you would like, okay? So that's how you would save it out, you hit save. Uh, obviously, I would remove uh, the rest of the stuff here. You can fill in all three, uh, the same if you wanted. Okay, you just copy and paste all three of these at the same time and hit save. Okay, we're gonna hit save here. Save it successfully. Need to reboot manually. Okay, so the Avalon Nano 3 does need a manual reboot, which there is a reboot button here. Okay, you can hit reboot, hit okay and it's going to reboot. Alternatively, there is a button on the Avalon Nano 3 as well to turn it off and turn it on as a reboot function as well. Okay, so guys, that's it. So that's how you set it all up. Okay, now just talking about, some people may ask, Repanda, what if I want to just mine or solo mine, you know, Bitcoin Cash? And yeah, you can do that, or Bitcoin SV. Again, there's other forks of Bitcoin here that use SHA-256 algorithm, which is the same algorithm that Bitcoin uses for mining Bitcoin. So you could solo mine Digibyte if you wanted. Again, same idea. There's a bunch of different solo pools for Digibyte or, you know, Bitcoin Cash, which, you know, I'm kind of solo mining Bitcoin Cash right now because the chance of you to get a Bitcoin block, specifically with 4 terahash, is quite low okay it's a very low chance in my opinion so let's just do you can see the chance per day here you know 247,000 uh, per day chance but if you go to Bitcoin cash and we calculate at 4 terahash you can see your chance is a, is a lot higher so 1 in 64 76 chance all right 6476 chance versus the you know 200 and you know 300,000 chance versus bitcoin okay versus the bitcoin cash here so a lot higher chance in a way that you could get a bitcoin cash block which i think is about fifteen hundred dollars per block so if you got a, a block of Bitcoin Cash, boom, you got 1500 bucks versus, I know with Bitcoin, it would be like a $200,000, $300,000 block, but it's, it's, it's a much uh, lower chance for you to get a block because the, the network is so difficult for mining Bitcoin. Okay, guys, so that's how you set up the Avalon Nano, and it looks like it's back on here. We're just going to log back in. And boom, there you go. It's solo mining Bitcoin now to ckpool.org. Okay, so there it is, you guys, the how to set up the Avalon Nano 3. Hopefully that wasn't too difficult to understand. Pretty easy, to be honest, to set up this Avalon Nano. And now you're able to, you know, unplug it and you can put this anywhere in your house. Anywhere that has, obviously, the Wi-Fi signal and, of course, you need 110 uh, power. You can see I'm drawing about 136 watts, 135 watts right now. We are on high mode on this Avalon Nano, mining at four terahash, okay? So looking closer, there you guys go. We're at high mode there, and it's pumping out a good amount of heat. Oh yeah, there you go. That's not bad, not bad. Good to have this around the house. I guess in the winter time and just go to town solo mining. That's I guess really the popular 
reason why a lot of people have been buying these is the fact that it's generally cheap, okay? Cheaper than a lot of those other solo Bitcoin miners out there. And this does a lot more terahash, all right? So that has a lot more value in that regard. Is this profitable for pool mining? No. And so I would be solo mining with this thing. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Again, link down below to the Gleam link to participate in the free giveaway here of this exact Avalon Nano 3 along with the power supply. And I will choose the winner in about seven days. Good luck, everyone. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out.